Hello, it's the final Monday in February, so today I am going to be talking about my February favourites. True to form, I'm going to start with a whole bunch of TV shows, but most of them I've already mentioned before, so I'm not going to talk about them in much detail. Firstly, Q. I have finished the anime Q for the second time, I love it so much. Taboo finished on the BBC on Sunday, this is a drama with Tom Hardy. I recommend checking that out on the BBC iPlayer if you can. I watched The Crown on Netflix this month, I also reviewed it earlier on this month. Same with Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, I have to mention that as one of my favourites. I'm going to talk about two more in slightly more detail. Firstly, QI, the latest series of this has just ended. It is the first series with Sandy Toxvig as host instead of Stephen Fry, and I have loved it. I am so happy with her as host. It is so tricky with a panel show to change host, because it can change the tone and the relationship with the panellists can be different, but I am so impressed with Sandy Toxvig as the host. I already like her as a host in other things, but I was wondering how she would fit in at QI, and she fits in wonderfully, so I'm really looking forward to the series continuing with her. And the final TV show I'm going to talk about is Lucifer. I recently started this on Amazon Prime when I finished The Crown. It stars Tom Ellis, which is interesting to start with because I am used to him being in Miranda and other random British TV shows. It starts off pretty slowly and kind of a lot like every normal police procedural, but there was quite a lot of world building earlier on, so I thought that it might pick up, and I'm really happy because it kind of has a lot. This sort of slow introduction to different stories and different character arcs is paying off towards the end of season one. The plot has got more complicated and there's more jeopardy, so I recommend Lucifer, and I recommend watching quite a lot of episodes before deciding if you want to stay. So that's a little short list of some shows that I have enjoyed this month. Now a film you'll probably be happy happy to learn that I'm only going to talk about one film. My favourite film this month has been Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I liked it a lot. As I mentioned quite a few times in my review of the film, uh, I repeated myself quite a lot. It's a very fun film. Now a purchase this month I bought a lightsaber in the Disney store. Ray's lightsaber. <laughs> I got this for my cosplay of Rey, which will be the launch of my Mouse Make series, more on that later. And I lucked out when I bought it because it was on sale for £15. I've only ever seen it for full price before, for about £25, I think slightly more online. So that was quite a lucky day. Now an app slash website, I guess. I have been learning Japanese with Memrise on my phone. There's also a website that you can use as well. I will link to it below. But I find it useful and fun a lot of the time as well. And I find that I remember things quite quickly when I use it. It's a system which seems to work very well for me. So I figured I would mention it in case it works for somebody else. And it has a lot of languages, but it's not just languages. It's all sorts of stuff. Pop culture, history, art, geography. So if you're trying to learn or memorise a thing, then maybe check out Memorise to see if there is a course for it on there. And now a place. I visited the Victoria and Albert Museum yesterday in South Kensington in London, and I saw an exhibition. And I keep forgetting the name of it, so I wrote it down. It's You Say You Want a Revolution, Records and Rebels, 1966 to 1970. And it's all about revolution, really, in politics, music, art, culture, fashion, and it had a big audio element, you walked around wearing headphones and music would play, and it would change depending on where you were in the exhibition. For instance, there was a lot of stuff about the Beatles, and you had their music playing, and sometimes you'd be standing in front of a screen and it would play the audio to whatever you're watching, so it was quite fun because it had this other element to it. It was very busy though, and I have since learned that that is because it was the final day of the exhibition. It wasn't set out particularly well for a big crowd of people, because there were lots of little nooks and stuff, and I was constantly getting stuck. It would take a while to get to whatever item you wanted to look at, and then you'd get there and then be kind of stuck there for a bit because there'd be lots of people behind you and you couldn't move away. So that was frustrating, but it also wouldn't have been a problem in the slightest if there had just been fewer people. It was a little more expensive than I'm used to an exhibition being. It was £16, I normally pay around £12, but I guess the whole headphones music element raised the price a bit. I'd probably still recommend it though to be honest, although I can't now because it's closed. So those are some of my favourite things from this month. Please let me know some of your favourite things. Also, have you enjoyed any of the things I have mentioned? This is going to be my last monthly favourites on a Monday because I'm moving it to Tuesdays to make way for Mouse Makes, which is my new craft cosplay and baking series, which will be coming 
soon in the next month or so. It's quite probable I don't need to move the monthly favourites quite yet, but I want to just in case I have great success with my cosplay and actually have a video ready to go by the end of March. So yeah, this will be part of Reviews Day Tuesday from now on, which kind of makes sense since it is kind of little micro reviews. My next favourites will be my March favourites, obviously, and that will be on the final Tuesday of March, unless it clashes with another review, in which case it will be the Tuesday after. So that's the little bit of admin done. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you later on in the week.